Portions of Metro World Entertainment Television have been sponsored by Key 56 Internet Radio, playing San Diego's best soul, funk, and jazz. Also, El Marachi Restaurant, serving El Cajon's finest Mexican food. Welcome to Metro World Entertainment Television. I'm your host, Donald Dr. D.R. Riles. And today we have with us a very powerful young lady. She is a businesswoman and an artist manager, and her name is Janet Walters. Welcome to the show, Janet. Oh, thank you, Donald. Yes, ma'am. So, you, I have to tell you right now, you're going to be very popular. <laughs> I hope so. Because I know a lot of artists. And they're looking for some management. So <laughs> we're going to get into the questions right away. How did you become an artist manager? Well, first I was a manager, a manager of people. Oh, okay. And someone came to me one day um, that work, needed some work done, mm -hmm. bio completed. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I can do that for you. Okay. And from there it was, boy, would you be able to facilitate this for me? Mm -hmm. And from there, they saw I had some leadership skills. Of course I did. I came from the banking industry where I managed a multi-million dollar organization. Oh, okay. And so from there, it just I have a love of music, so it was a great fit for me. All right, fantastic. So now, specifically, what does an artist manager do? An artist manager makes sure his artists his or her artist gets the money. Gets the money. That's, that's <laughs> I the I told you, thing. you're going to be very popular. You know, you got to get the profits. Got to get and the, at the money. At the end of the day, that's the bottom line. Your, mm -hmm. your artist needs to get paid. Right. You need to position them, make sure that they have a great image out there, mm -hmm. and that they have a great presence. And, and that's really what the manager kind of oversees. Okay. All right. So now, what's the difference between a manager and an agent? Is there a difference? There is, is a difference. Oh, okay. A manager really kind of oversees everything, where mm -hmm. an agent really is looking at bookings. Bookings. Getting people live venues, mm -hmm. placement, that sort of thing. And the manager really is coordinating all those events. Mm -hmm. So you say you manage their image, so are you also like a publicist? Do you a publicist, publicist, anything out there that is being said about the artist, I want to know mm -hmm. about that because really that's how they get known is by what people will either see or hear. Right. So to me that's very important to make sure that they have a good public image. Yes. So what, what qualities does one need to be a good artist manager? I think they need to listen. 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 Oh, I like that. That's an excellent quality. Not get real emotional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and really kind of take in and find out what is it that the artist 
it really wants to achieve. Mm -hmm. And that really does take a lot of listening because sometimes they're not quite sure. Mm -hmm. It's like a small business. Mm -hmm. Everybody can run their business, right. but then they wonder why they're not turning a profit because mm -hmm. they're so busy with the day to day they forget about the details. So sure. for me, that's that's a good trait for a manager to have is just to listen. Absolutely. So, so are you like that manager on that show, Entourage, that Ari, that uh, agent, he's got three or four different phones, he's, you know, he's like a drill sergeant, are you? Oh, no. No? I'm, I'm not on the phone all the time. Cutting deals and all? Uh, no, I'll cut a deal. <laughs> now, I am the deal maker, <laughs> okay. but it doesn't necessarily take a whole lot of phone calls. By uh -huh. that time, really, he has... You know, as the artists grow, uh, mm -hmm. I would say in the initial stage, you may take a lot of phone calls. Okay. But afterwards, you actually delegate that out and you just build a great team. Uh -huh. Because that's really what it takes to make sure that that artist succeeds. Right. So would you like to be a, one of these big time Hollywood agents? You know? I would be just a different. global agent. Global that's agent. That's what I want to do. Not just mm -hmm. in Hollywood. All the right. world is so vast. This and is true. You know, there's so many other opportunities with other artists all over the world, and when you travel, music mm -hmm. is like an international language. Mm -hmm. So, to be stuck in Hollywood? Uh, no, give me internationally anytime. All right, I understand completely. Actually, I'm looking to shoot a, a film in Brazil in a couple of years. So. I know that's one of my favorite places. I'd love to go. All right, you see, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna talk. Yeah, we're gonna talk. So uh, right now, you represent. Brandon Primus. I do. Yes, the saxophonist. So tell us, tell us something about Brandon. Brandon is an artist that really enjoys his craft. Mm -hmm. He is educated in the art of music, especially the art of jazz. Yes. And that's one thing. When you talk to him, mm -hmm. he can run it down all the different genres of jazz. Absolutely. Why he likes Coltrane. He's mm -hmm. a big fan of Miles Davis. Yes. And so he understand this craft and he's also a student and graduated graduated from the Berkeley College of Music. Berkeley College of Music. Berkeley College of Music. Berkeley. Back on the East Coast. Back on the East Coast. <laughs> where some of the greats have actually studied. So yes. you know, he takes his craft very seriously. All right. Well that's good. That's good. You know, well if you're gonna be a serious performer, you have to take your craft seriously. No question about it. So what projects does Brandon have? Brandon has coming up within the next couple of weeks, there's a Christmas Tabernacle here in San Diego at Liberty Station. Okay. And he's going to be at the private viewing party mm -hmm. and he'll have a 30 minute set there. Mm -hmm. and he's going to do some work for the United Negro College Fund mm -hmm. for their preview night, their super viewing party as they call it. Okay. And he's also going to get a showcase uh, in February uh, with the Kumba Fest. Oh, okay. So it's their 20th year, mm -hmm. and they called, and, and I reached out to them, and they said, we'd like for him to have his own showcase. Oh, okay. And that'll be at the lighting. That is fantastic. So uh, are you looking to take on any new clients? Or? Well, mm -hmm. I get approached every now and then. And recently mm -hmm. I got a call from a friend of mine that says, mm -hmm. you know, they have some clients that are gospel musicians, very well oh. known up in the L.A. area. Okay. By the last name, maybe Winans. Uh-oh. Um, what, Winans? That may be doing some things there that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, things are still in the initial stage, but they'd like to for me to be involved in that. So I said, well, let me see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you think I'm a good fit for them for what is needed, mm -hmm. uh, I'm in. All right. Now, if you were to take on a new client, is there a certain type of client that you're looking for? Uh, is it just musicians? Would you be willing to work with actors, actresses, models? Oh, I do the whole creative. The whole creative? Yes, the whole creative. Because you know, my earlier days, I was an actress. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. So I have an acting bug in me. I haven't uh -huh. done that for quite some time, but uh -huh. you know, I have a background in acting. My whole family's musical, so, you know, mm -hmm. those things are kind of a fit for me. So, and leadership when it comes uh -huh. to managing people, uh -huh. it's really about getting to know them, who they are, what they uh -huh. want to do, and listening. Okay. So I, I just want to ask you this. How does a person go about becoming a manager? Uh, do you go to school for it? Uh, are there some classes you should take or some skills that you should have? To... Well, I think good interpersonal skills, sometimes mm -hmm. those things can 
you know, you can learn over time. Mm -hmm. But I think a good manager really is kind of instinctive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a relationship that's built. Right. You can teach somebody, give them all the mechanics, but somehow they just mm -hmm. don't fit. So mm -hmm. I think it's something that a person has to have a passion to do and right. connects with people. And for me, I feel mm -hmm. like I'm a connector. All right, fantastic. I think you, this, you are going to be very popular. I mean, especially here in San Diego, we need someone who's looking out for African American artists and musicians. So uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get a lot of emails after this interview airs. So, what advice would you give to an artist that's looking for a manager? What should an artist look for in a manager? Trust. Trust. Trust and integrity. Okay. Because without those things there, then you don't know whether what you're entrusting your livelihood, mm -hmm. how that's going to manifest. So you need to make sure that that is there. Mm -hmm. Integrity tops everything. Absolutely. I would agree. You know, we hear so many stories about these uh, agents and, and managers who are like snake oil salesmen, the, uh, the L.A. Uh, agents who are maybe not look, look out so much for their artists? Well, they're mostly looking out for themselves, Absolutely. almost kind of like in the political scene where you mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. you know, there's a party, but they're really out for themselves yes. and not looking for the interests of the country. And I think an artist manager needs mm -hmm. to do that for their artists. That's right. Look out for the well-being of their artists. Well, Janet, I want to thank you for stopping by and giving us such uh, valuable information about an artist manager. Well. Thank you for allowing me to come here and interview today. I've had a great time. Absolutely. <laughs> this is Janice Walters. She's a businesswoman and an artist manager. And this is Dr. DR right here on Metro World Entertainment Television.
that is last And nobody cares about the time We're gonna party all night, yeah Ooh, I'm on fire. The night has just begun, and my only desire is to have myself some fun. I got my name, but nobody, no one to call my own. Feel so lonely. I'm tired. Yes. Showing me the 
Two, two, 
Today, about one in five Americans is living with a disability. Over 50 million people, including many of our friends and neighbors, teachers and co-workers, heroes and leaders. 20 years ago, the Americans with Disabilities Act guaranteed every person the right to live, work, and participate fully in the American experience. We've come a long way since then, and we are committed to making even more progress in the years ahead. Visit disability.gov to see how you can help.